Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solution Tutorial Video. In this video, you will learn how to create Intersoft Client UI Basic Navigation Application. You will also learn how to add a new page and integrate it to this application. First, please open Visual Studio 2010 and choose Intersoft Client UI Basic Navigation Application Project Template. Please name your application project and click OK. In New Silverlight Application dialog box, click the OK button to host the application and new website. The main page.xaml is the root visual in this application. As you can see, the main page has UX navigation button to navigate the page. This selection template also loads all resources that are needed to run this application. You can also find some predefined pages in Views folder. Assets folder contains the images and styles that are used in this application. Next, we will add a new page and integrate it to this application. Select Add New Item, and choose Intersoft UX Page Template. Please name it as emailist.xaml. To add the new integrated page to this application, we need to create a similar layout structure from the other pages. In this page, we will start to divide the layout into two. You can use row definition approach. One is for header, and the other is for content. Let's start from header part. Please add content reflector control to the page and reset the layout. Inside content reflector, there is a grid as the container. First, please add image control to this grid container and reset the layout. Then, Please specify the source. You can add a source by browsing into the images file. Or, you can use relative path. After that, please also add a text block into this grid container and reset the layout. Also, please set the following properties. Text as email as Horizontal alignment to left. Margin top to 8. And set the font style. After that, add drop shadow effect. Next, we set Reflexion effect for the header. Please add the following properties. Notice that, the images and the text would have their reflection at the bottom. If the effect is not persisted, you can reload the designer by rebuilding your project or solution. Now, let's create the contain part.
Please add UX scroller control and set the following properties. Grid row to 1, and vertical scroll bar visibility to auto. Next, add a dock panel inside UX Scroller. Please set the name as Content Panel. Then, add group box control inside dock panel and reset the layout. For the better layout, please set the dock to top mode. Please also set the following properties. Header as email, vertical alignment to top, margin to 10, style to main content style. Next, please add a text block and reset the layout. Please set the text as put content here. Now, we finished in creating the layout. To integrate the page to this application, we need to define the navigation from mainpage.xaml. In main page, there are three UX navigation buttons. Now, we would like to add a new UX navigation button to integrate our previous page. Please add UX navigation button then set the following properties. Name as email link. Content as email is. Navigate area slash email is. And style to static resource navigation button style. As you can see, email us button is added. Now, run the project. Please try to click the button. Notice that, it would navigate into the available pages. 
You can also see our new page. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solution Tutorial Video. For more video, you can visit our support site at intersoftpt.com support.